All righty, Friday, September 6th, taking a look at the S&P for a quick session recap. Bearish sentiment definitely continues. Bearish price action continues. No real surprise here considering we have not seen any change of character over the past few sessions following that daily time frame breakdown. Previous to Tuesday, we had about a two-week two week or so sideways range right through here. Price breaks down this past Tuesday. That's a higher time frame technical breakdown. And from there, the selling continues. So coming into today's session, what we wanted to see was whether or not essentially that NFP bounce could sustain up and through the volume point of control right through here from the prior two day range. So looking to see whether or not buyers can sustain this bounce following NFP, or if this is gonna set up that lower high, retest the overnight low, and then potentially show the continuation move. Now we see that we do have that lower high there, right? Pretty clear and price just continues to show that series of lower highs. So trend lower, anytime you have that those lower highs, it's just a trend lower. Zooming out, we can get a cleaner picture of the prior range right through here. Right, here's your breakdown. Price actually retests the breakdown point right through here. That was kind of midday Wednesday. Right through there, retest the breakdown point, another lower high right through there. Get the overnight move this morning, right? Very early this morning. Here's your NFP bounce to retest the weekly, this week's volume point of control and the near term structure volume point of control right through there. Remember, that's always going to be a significant level to watch. Then we have sellers continuing. So taking a look at the higher time frame charts daily weekly, right? Take a look at that weekly. Price is pretty much erased, what is it, 50 to 60%, I'd say, of that prior bounce, coming into that 50% retracement right through there on ES. So taking a look at the bounce from the Monday, August 5th low up into this high, Mark this most recent Tuesday up into 56.71. We have almost a 50% retracement. So on Monday, on Tuesday, what I'll be looking to see is whether or not buyers start to step in in this 5,400 area or if this bearish move is going to continue down into the year-to-date volume point of control, maybe even get into these prior lows. As of right now, no real signs of buyers stepping in, right? Well, what, how this will start to unfold when buyers eventually do step in is you'll start to see those change of characters on the shorter time frame chart, something like your 15 minute, something like your 30 minute. Then it'll start to materialize on the hourly and the four hour, and then you'll start to see it on the daily. So until you really start to see even a change of character on your 30 minute chart or on your hourly chart the focus needs to continue to be shorting or like i've said a few times in in some of the live streams if you are going to be looking for long setups doing so with really strong location making sure that you're keeping tight leashes on those setups because price is just you'll see the bounce just rolls over see the bounce just rolls over so that's the main watch here on ES coming into Monday. We'll be looking at that reaction versus today's low. Now it is a big trend day move, right? We do have a big expansion day today. The current move is 122 points versus a normal ATR of 84 points. So typically ES is moving 84 points in a day. Today we have a 122 point move on higher than average volume. Now, as you know, or as you should know, Anytime we have these big expansion moves, you want to tend to expect more of a neutral session, more of a range bound, quieter session. So that will be the expectation on Monday, primarily looking at how price responds to today's low and then that 5,400 level of interest, which aligns with the 
retracement level on ES. Let's jump over to NQ. So NQ, pretty similar. We have two neutral days, two resting bars there on the daily time frame chart. And the main watch for today was whether or not that 820, 830 support zone could continue to hold. And as a reminder, what we had was an unfilled gap just below that area, right? So once price really failed to hold this 820 area right through here, the gap fill trade was on. You can see the gap fill trade worked quite nicely and price actually resolves lower just shy of our 18400 level of interest. So this has been bearish ever since we had essentially this bearish engulfing day on Thursday, August 22nd, but more so when price really failed to get above this 700 area for about a week or so. It's like five or six sessions there. You have the gap lower this past Tuesday that triggers the breakdown of that prior near-term range, right? Big picture context says downtrend. So again, focus on aligning yourself with the primary trend, which is down, or if you're gonna try and fight that trend, if you're gonna try and look for the long setups, just making sure you have really strong location. It's, it's like trying to short an uptrending market. You can do it, you can find those spots, but you need to make sure you're getting involved in the right areas, really strong trade location. Today and the past week or so, past two weeks really, we're on the flip side of that. So shorts have been the easier move just because of the prevailing trend here and the technical setup. Now again, same type of thing applies here with NQ that we just discussed on ES. If buyers, when they do start to step in, you'll start to see that change of character. You'll start to see a series of higher lows and some higher highs on the lower time frame charts, those intraday charts, those 15 minute charts, 30 minute, then I'll start to shift onto the hourly. That would be significant. Start to get it on the four hour and then onto the daily. Now, as of right now, look at the look at the pivots, right? Right through here, two day range. Right through here, price actually breaks down today. You have the bounce that retests the weekly profile. Here's your most recent lower high as of right now. So in order for price to actually show a change of, of character as of what we have to work with right now, you'd need to see a break up through that 19K area. So it's quite a ways away. Now, as far as what I'll be doing on Monday, primarily gonna be looking at this afternoon structure right through here. I like when price offers kind of an afternoon base to work with, see if Monday offers any sort of retracement up through the 550, maybe a retest into the 550, and then perhaps even a partial retracement of today's downtrend day. That would align with kind of the neutral session. If we see some sort of inside day, that setup would kind of align with that idea. Now, if today's low fails to hold, the selling continues, right? Selling continues. So that's pretty much the main watch. Not a lot to update as far as the structure is concerned, continues to point towards lower prices. And so that's gonna be the prevailing trend until we start to see you know, those higher time frame change of character. Now let's take a look at where are we at as far as the Fib retracement on the daily here, coming into that 61%. So 18,400, Downside level of interest aligns nicely with that 61% FIB. And then let me see the year-to-date volume point of control should be right around here as well. Yeah, it's right right through here, 18,530. So it'll be interesting to see how price continues to respond to this zone, right? Again, that is the year-to-date volume point of control. Look at all the action through here. You have the retest right through there. You even have a lot of prior resistance all through here before price ultimately broke out. So if we start to see some hourly, four hour change of character in this zone, it may start to build out and mark the local low. Now the challenge with the current setup, and I mentioned this, I believe on 
Tuesday or maybe Wednesday session recap. But the issue with the current setup is that right now on the daily time frame, we have a very significant lower high. So the target for this lower high is down into here. So don't get ahead of yourself. Don't start trying to front run the bounce or anything like that, thinking that it's oversold or it has to bounce. Remember, we don't work with those types of models. We just defer to what price is showing us. That price lead. Price is the ultimate arbiter. So keep an eye on that structure. Hope you guys had a good day, a good trading week. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me a DM over the weekend in the Traders Think Tank. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday morning. Take care.